Hello! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, my name's Gabrielle. I love ASMR and I don't even care if anyone watches this. I am just doing this for my own pleasure because <laughs> I've been wanting to. So today I'm going to be doing lit sounds with a get to know me vibe. I'm not wearing any makeup because I didn't want to like make a big deal out of this. I'm in Houston, Texas. It's hot. There's no AC on up here. I have a foster dog. He might growl. He's going to sleep though. I think he likes this voice. Um, so the first sound I'm going to be doing is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with my favorite one. I have this at my desk at work. Um, it's Laneige. Laneige? <laughs> I'm not sure how to say that. Um, I could talk about this for so long, but I got this in a Lady Gang box. And if you don't know what the Lady Gang is, it's a podcast. And they also, um, they do like subscription boxes. Um, so this is a lip sleeping mask, but I don't, I use it to sleep sometimes, but I mostly use it at work. And I'll just put on my lips during the day and it's like really moisturizing. But when I'm at work, I'm thinking about ASMR, I will just like open and close this and tap on it because it sounds so nice. Okay, <laughs> let's get to the questions. Wait, wait, I want to you. This way. First question is my real name. My real name is Gabrielle Pfeiffer Eliason. Uh, having the last name Eliason is really annoying. It's spelled E L I E L I A S O N. Um, and I don't know, I just spell it everywhere I go. So my middle name is Pfeiffer, and that was my maiden name. I'm married. I think there's gonna be a question about that. My date of birth is, uh, maybe I won't say the whole thing, but it's in February, and I was born in 1993. I am 27. I'm old. And the next question was age. That's question number three. I'm 27. I feel old. I have a real job. I've had a real job for a while. Okay real. I mean, I'm an engineer and it's a hard. I think a lot. I feel old. I wish I was... I was in between jobs a little while ago and I was bartending. I was trying to be a sommelier and I miss it. That's all I want to do. So I feel old because I have to like look at numbers and um, make big decisions every day. my next lid. So I'm at my parents' house right now because we're quarantining with them. Um, and she's an artist, so there's just a plethora of ASMR, ASMR objects. Um, so this is an, just a paint. It's an enamel paint. It's acrylic. It's in the color sunflower, which is kind of cute. Bit, and then we'll get to the real good stuff, right? The lid sounds. So the next question is, what is my gender? Female. <laughs> I don't have headphones on, so I don't know how this sounds. But I'm a female. And I'm generally, like, what you would think of a female, other than being like super strong-willed, which I'm very into like breaking that stigma about women. I've been called feisty at work, and I'm sure people have called me a bitch, <laughs> which I 
wish there was no stigma around that. Okay, so the next question is, am I straight, gay, or bisexual? <laughs> I don't really want to answer this for the world to see. So how about we save that one? <laughs> but I do have a husband. His name's Nolan and I love him. So I guess you could guess I have two that I could be. And maybe I'm just messing with y'all. But maybe we'll talk about that later. Am I going really fast? I feel like I am. Let's slow down. wall outlet down there, I just realized, but we're not stopping. We don't stop. Okay, let's go to the next question. I'm on question number 6 out of 10. Oh, 14. 6 out of 14. Favorite books? I'm really not a book gal. And I don't like action and like thriller anything. I'm not one of those girls who likes murder mysteries. So, magazines? I like reading magazines, especially when I'm traveling. <laughs> oh my god, look, like I said before, I'm an engineer. Well now, I'm, I'm not really an engineering, I'm a coordinator right now, but no one knows what that means. I work in the chemicals industry. I don't want to think after work, so I only watch, like, The Bachelor. And I read magazines, and I read magazines in the bath, and it's unbelievable and so nice. My hair is so big for living in Houston. <laughs> Shall we move on to the next lid? I feel like I've been on this lid for a long time. That was two lids. One, two lids. <clears throat> what am I going to do next? I have another favorite. I'll save it for last. So this is a pill bottle. I actually love this sound, but it's kind of loud, right? This is, I won't show what it is, but it's just acne medicine. Nothing super strong. Maybe I'll talk about it one day because I used to have really, 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 so much better. So I said I'm not wearing makeup and I have blemishes but like I had prepubescent acne in my I mean I'm in my 20s but until like a year ago so let's see how this lid sounds Keep going with that sound. A favorite movie? <laughs> Probably like The Proposal or something. I really like, um, like Wreck It Ralph. Pretty underrated movie. If you're an adult and you don't like animated movies, it might change your mind. It's really good. Sessions. The next question, number eight. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now I'm on eight. It's a great round number. We all love eight, right? I mean, maybe not. I'm sorry if it's your least favorite number. Obsessions. Obsessions. I'm obsessed with dogs. 
box CrossFit, which I'm not going to talk about because most people hate CrossFit people. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with my husband. We've been married for four and a half years and I'm obsessed with him. I stare at him all the time and I'm like, I love you so much. I'm obsessed with... that was my stomach. I used to be obsessed with Texas, but now I'm kind of... I'm in like an anti-South mood lately. Like, I want to move to Canada. <laughs> I love the heat. I love the weather. I love the people mostly. I just don't like the amount of like politics and stuff there is here. Also, I'm very like pro-woman and that's not really a thing in the South. I lived in Alabama too, but I'm from Texas, so that was a long rant just to tell you I'm obsessed with ASMR. Oh, right now while we're- sorry, I shook the camera. Right now while- right now while we're in quarantine, I'm obsessed with Mario Bros. Mario Bros. The Nintendo Switch. I never thought I would like video games, and we got it. We got one for this a few weeks ago, and we play it every night. It's fantastic. Great bonding experience too, because you can play it multiplayer. I highly suggest. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next question, and I'm gonna move on to another lid sound. I only have two more lids left, so our next lid is another lineage. Lin lineage. Lineage, lineage. Um, again, from the Lady Game box. This one's nice because it's an um, eye sleeping mask and it has like a really nice, you'll see, it has a really nice sound when I like take the lid all the way off. It's not making much of a noise coming out, is it? But this. a little um, ceramic ball on the end and you put it there, puts under my eye and it feels so nice because it's cold. Oh, I love it. And also I do notice a difference when I'm wearing it all the time, like my eyes feel tighter. I do stress a lot so I have a lot of like wrinkles already. Maybe 2020 winter 2020 will be Botox season, and now my eyes are shiny. Just deal with it. <laughs> Celebrity crush, Nick Jonas, even though I'm almost six foot and he would be way shorter than me. Always been a fan. <laughs> um, I went to see them in concert last year, end of last year, so pretty recently. The Jonas Brothers, it was unbelievable. They are so talented. And I know I sound if you don't like them, I probably just sound like a fangirl, but you should actually, like, watch them live. It's like watching Justin Bieber live, like, they actually have talent, and you're like, whoa, had no idea. That girl just thought you were hot. But Justin Bieber's really talented. Let me tap on this one, because it doesn't sound like much. Almost done, round number 10. I gotta go in the hot tub soon, so. I am I single or taken? I am taken. I have a husband named Nolan. He's really cool. I'll talk more about him later. Maybe we'll do a whole um, Nolan ASMR. The next question, number 11, is my personality. If you, if you know, <laughs> this is a weird question, if you follow anything Enneagram, if you've taken the Enneagram, I'm a type 8, and I'll just leave it at that, and I'll let you look that up, and maybe one day we'll talk about any, the Enneagram, but usually not the easiest to get along with number, <laughs> but also the easiest to get along with. 
the name for eights is the challenger so just take with that what you will <laughs> let's go to the next question shall we we're on number 10 sorry we're on number 11. oh 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 shit sorry we're on number 12 pets right now i'm fostering a little chihuahua his name is bruno He's sleeping in the corner over there. He has a lot of mental problems. <laughs> so, um, he likes to bite and growl. But he's super sweet when he's sweet. So we're training him to be a little nicer. So hopefully he, um, will, if I didn't say I'm fostering him, I think I did. He'll be able to go to a good home when he chills out a little bit. He doesn't have the best paths. I don't blame him. Okay. We're going to start on the next lid. Our final lid. What number are we on? Five. Our fifth and final lid. And we're on question 13 out of 14. Okay. This lid is the best lid. No, I said the first one was the best one. This is the second best lid. This is Skin Ceuticals. It's almost out. I don't know if you can see that. It's their daily cleanser. Sorry. Daily moisture. I don't know why I said cleanser. I use it every night and every morning. My face is really dry because of all the acne medicine I take, so. But this lid is like a nice metal. It's nice, right? <laughs> it's actually nicer now that it's older because there's some texture to it. Favorite foods. You're gonna think I'm so weird, but olives. I love martinis. And I love martinis dirty. Which means I love olives. Like I like them to just taste like olive juice. Um, specifically black olives are my favorite, but in martinis green is good. Um, I'm also vegan. So if you're vegan, you know, I like, like, nutritional yeast with anything. So cheesy stuff. Cheesy stuff. Um, I, I can't think of anything else. Um, oh, hash browns. My favorite part of any morning is when I get to eat my hash browns. Specifically from Trader Joe's. My camera just stopped. I was talking about hash browns that I love so much. So specifically... From Trader Joe's, I like the loose kind or the kind that come in patties like you get from McDonald's. So, olives and hash browns. I like salt, apparently. Did you hear my stomach? It's mad. Final question. I have two minutes until I have to get in the hot tub. favorite music right now <laughs> because I'm anti-southern at the moment <laughs> and you'll see my ideas change a lot but right now I'm really into like anti-southern but I'm very like Houston proud especially with Houston's just been through a lot with Harvey and all that um and dog, I'm just watching it. Um, they've been through a lot with like Harvey and the Astros almost winning the World Bowl, them winning and then them almost winning and like there's always like a really great camaraderie and the downtown Houston scene, which is where I usually live, but I'm not there right now because I'm in quarantine with my parents in a suburb, but the downtown Houston vibe is very much like rap. All, everywhere you go is rap. No one's listening to like country like you would think they would be this far in the south. So I'm really into rap and hip hop at the moment. Which is funny because I'm a six foot tall string bean. And I will never go to a club and just dance to straight rap. Because people would make fun of me. Because it would sound so nice, right? I'm sure you'll learn more, so 
I really like soft spoken with triggers and that'll probably be most of my videos so I guess subscribe if you want to I honestly I'm just happy to be making this I don't really care either way if you subscribe subscribe if you want to see more of me but don't if you don't and we'll see if any of this actually recorded what do you think my like outro should be? Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs> Is that from the 90s or the 2000s? Peace out, Girl Scout. I think it's our thing. <laughs>